In this video, we're going to look at some properties of spline curves. We're looking at an example of a spline curve here, and we're going to go into slideshow mode so that we can see it better. This curve is a curve in the xy plane. It's a parametric curve. That means that for each real valued parameter t, there's a corresponding point on the curve in the plane. In our example here, this spline curve is defined using a set of control points, which you now see. Except for the first and last point, the control points generally don't lie on the curve. To show how the control points determine the points that actually lie on the curve, let's view an animation of a point that travels along the curve from the start to the end. As we move, we're going to imagine that weights have been placed at some of the control points and the area of the colored circles at those control points are proportional to those weights. What you see now is just one red circle. That means all the weight is at the first control point at the start of the curve. But now we're going to move along the curve. So let's take some steps and you see the little black circle on the curve and you see four colored circles that represent the control points. The point on the curve is at the center of gravity of these weighted control points. You'll see that at most four control points have positive weights at any particular time. So as I move along the curve, notice that some of the control points get greater weights and some of the control points get smaller weights. The formulas that appear near the top of the screen change as the point moves along the curve and as different control points come and go. As we get to the end, all the weight is at the last control point. So this is what's called the B-spline representation of a spline curve. So thanks for listening and watching this screencast.